Chance was just a big game for you today. He was looking real good on the boards and also just uh, distributing the ball and playing help defense. Just uh, tell me a little bit about your mindset before the game started. Um, well, uh, going into games like this, uh, coach is really emphasizing us just really moving the ball, uh, just focusing on the little things like defensive fundamentals and, and rotations and stuff like that. So. Uh, just really, really just focusing and locking in on the game plan that he gives us that we study uh, a couple of days before. Uh, that's really just what he focuses. Lester, you turned 19 today, is that right? Yeah. So if you could just kind of, I mean, career high, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just talk about your day and just how, you, how well you played. Oh, uh, well. I mean, um, just really uh, crashing the boards since they're a, a pretty undersized team today. So just really crashing hard every time. Uh, and just really breaking their press, finding my open teammates. Um, just really doing all the little things, rebounding and everything else. Uh, and just cheering for the guys who got in at the end uh, when it's their time to shine. So just really being overall a good teammate today was my goal. Brian Warren with uh, We Don't Bluff.net. Uh, my question could go for both of you guys. How different was it today playing without James Wiseman? His presence is huge. I mean, seven footer in the paint, just his dominance is obviously wasn't felt, but uh, I feel like uh, other guys stepped up, like uh, Zay, Isaiah Maurice came in. Uh, he had nine rebounds in 12 minutes. So just uh, guys like that, Lance coming in uh, again, I think he had three blocks or two blocks. And just coming in, those other guys coming in, stepping up, pressure stepping up. Uh, it's just big for those guys to step up. Uh, until everything gets cleared out with that. Question for Precious. So you scored quite a large amount of points today, but you were continuously sent to the free throw line. Yeah. What does it mean to you that the opposition had to take that option to stop you? Being sent to the free throw line? Um, I understand in the whole country, I'm probably one of the few dudes that can get to the free throw line that will, you know, just based on, you know, the way my physicality and just the way I play. So I take that as a priority and get into the free throw line every game. And I, I think that was something that came into this game and wanting to do. And I, I think I got the free throw. I just got to knock him down, you know, in the game. But that's just showing me I made, on the paper said I made 8 out of 20. So it just tells me I could. I have to work on that, you know, there's room for improvement. I don't see that as a negative. Even if I missed a lot of it, it just shows me I had a good game, but I still have a lot of things to work on to become, you know, better. So. I'm sure it's been a long week for everybody, but what's the conversation been like behind the scenes amongst you guys, amongst whoever? Just what's what's been the talk? In terms of? Just with the whole situation with James and all the back and forth and all the noise and distractions and negativity um, we don't we don't see as as a, as a negative you know I think it's a chance for every guy like you said before for every other person to step up and um, play the game of basketball you know we all we all here to play we understand James is not playing right now which hurts the team in a way because <clears throat> he's a big part of the team obviously but I think it's an opportunity for the other guys to step up and play these are how we played a lot of minutes step up play and show what they could do, you know, so everything gets reserved. But at the moment, even we you know we all talk to James every day, then we all hang out. We tell him like, yo, you know, just keep your head in the game and stay locked in. If everything is gonna get clear that you're gonna be back on the floor playing with us. Lester, uh, in terms of you in terms of the team shooting, obviously you've got good shooters on the team but they just haven't been falling so far. Is there is there anything that can be done to, is it just a matter of just you're missing open shots that you normally make as a team? Or do you think you could be getting better shots? How, how do you, I guess, figure out what's going on there for you guys outside shooting wise? Oh, definitely. I feel like uh, as a team, we've been going through a pretty bad shooting for them. Uh, we were four for 16 today for three. Last game, I think we were four for 28. So um, just really, um, we're getting the shots that we want. Uh, we just got to shoot with more confidence. Uh, our shooters got to hit, obviously. We've been working on that in practice the past couple of days. So uh, we are getting the shots that we want. We just got to knock down our shots. We're open. We're getting to the spots. But uh, coach is emphasizing us to just uh, feed it to the post a little bit more and uh, just use our size and our dominance down low.
As birthday celebrations go, Lester, how was this? Did you hear the singing of the, uh, the happy birthday to you, and how'd it go? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was great uh, just to hear that, hear all the support I have in the city and all the fans. It's just great. Um, question for Precious. Um, just explain how has it been for you adjusting to playing the five? Um, it hasn't been like a, when you say adjusting, I, I don't think it's a thing of adjustment to it. Um, I understand it's going to be some games where we're going to have to go small. Um, I didn't anticipate the situation that we have right now. You know, James, we James being out, but I've always had to play the five. You know, in some games, just because of the matchup and stuff like that, or maybe if, it's, if my team have to go small, I've always had to play the five. You know, but it's just it don't feel any different. I just treat the game the same way every day. Go out there and just play and find a way to affect the game positively. Uh, this question's for both of you, but we'll start with Precious. Just um, Obviously, the competition gets a lot tougher in the games ahead here that you're potentially looking at without James. Um, how confident are you guys in, in how you guys are gelling you know, without him? Obviously, you're practicing most of the summer with him. Um, I don't think anything changes. You know, It's a team effort at the end of the day. It's not just an individual. Um, like I like said before, all the guys are going to step up and play, and they're going to have to bring what they have to the table. And that's how that, that's why it's a team sport, it's not just an individual sport, you know. So uh, the other dudes on the team are going to have to step up and, and play. But in terms of confidence and just believing in what we could do, we're not shaky. We're not shaky at all. You know, we trust our teammates, and we just trust each other. We're encouraging James um, through you know, what he's going through right now. And we're just hoping he's going to be back sooner than later. Thank you.